You stop, breathe. I promise you everything's going to be okay. Stop stressing so much, girl. I don't even think you'd hear that. Hey, girl. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful Capricorn. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week, Capricorn. Now, I also do your weekly you versus them reading, Capricorn, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Capricorn, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than ever possibly because to take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Capricorn. Capricorn. If you find some cards that resonate with you, though, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, Capricorn, right? And then also, oh, you got three. And then also, Capricorn, I would love for you to give this video a like and subscribe, uh, because it does help with, out my channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, Capricorn, before we get into this reading, remember this reading's here just to give you some perspective. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. I'm not here to make a choice in your life. Just to provide some food for thought perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week so for all that being said let's get into this general weekly reading for you capricorn so let's get into this with your general messages uh capricorn we'll start out with your um we'll start out with your moon cards first capricorn and then we'll go from there so we have your new moon in Pisces, two new moons, two uh, new moons represents new beginnings, uh, Capricorn, so definitely something to keep in mind as we go throughout this. You guys actually, Capricorn, got our, uh, <laughs> don't mind me, <laughs> Capricorn, I'm sorry, like, had like a burp, I was trying to avoid burping on camera. You guys, out of anyone, as I was saying before, Capricorn, are the ones that got, like, the, right off the bat, the most unique reading because you guys are, got more, got extra cards and just how they came out. Um, so, New Moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate. New Moon in Gemini, communication is key. So, definitely kind of, like, giving me, like, like this foreshadowing of a big decision uh, that you are needing to consider. Something kind of being probably reveal to you catching you off guard capricorn or where it's just like we'll say i don't feel like you were prepared to make this decision right i feel like this is one of those things where it's like something comes up and you're just like on reflex wanting to address it like immediately wanting to um handle it in a specific way um and i feel like there does need to be this moment of pause and be like okay before we do take any rash, make any rash decisions right now, Capricorn, let's, let's think this through a little bit. Let's weigh out these decisions. Let's talk about it. Most importantly, communication is key. Let's talk about this, Capricorn, because maybe, you know, I'm all about that perspective, honey. And I feel like if you were on the same page with somebody, that's when things would actually work out pretty well for you. But I feel like I just get this sense that there is like the misunderstanding is something that I keep on hearing Capricorn. So take that as you will. Um, we'll look at the tarot side now. But I'll explain a little bit more of my message. We have the moon card coming out for you. So this is what I was talking about. The moon card being the card of something being revealed to you. Um, something catching you off guard. But this is also the card of intuition. Um, also, dear, I want, I just want to point out just the fact that like, you got two new moon cards and you got the moon card in and of itself. So, um, I usually don't talk about the spiritual stuff or occult stuff or anything like that in my readings because I like to keep my spiritual practices separate from my tarot. But Capricorn, I do get the sense that if you guys were to utilize the moon cycles, um, I feel like you would uh, be happy with the results of it, just seeing how relevant the moon has been for you in your reading right off the bat. Um, and then for your other cards, we have the Eight of Cups coming in. Now the Eight of Cups is like going into bigger and better waters. The Eight of Cups is like moving on from something after something's revealed to you. Probably you are put in this state. Uh, honestly, Capricorn, you're probably put in the state of where it's just like, okay, something revealed to you. You probably want to just take action and kind of like wash your hands clean of it, right? But there again, it's just like, think about it a little bit more. Talk about it even. Talk about it, right? Um, don't make rash decisions that you might regret at a later point. I'm not saying that you are going to regret them, Capricorn. I'm not saying that like what it is that you want to do, even walking away. I'm not saying that's wrong right but i'm just saying there is this push just thinking it through a little bit more before taking action even if you can do, you can even just take this message capricorn as a sense of um 
having a little bit more of a plan before you take action. Uh, Three of Cups, though, I really do feel like if you were to communicate, be on the same page with other people, if this does involve other people, Capricorn, I really do, like, through all the, like, stuff seemingly going on, it leads you to, like, that new beginning just because I keep on thinking about those new moons that you got. Um, but also, like, I feel like a new beginning, a new start with other people, with somebody. Um, I don't know. I just, something, very specific message, Capricorn, but I do, for my Capricorns that have been dealing with some conflict, um, I want to just say that I just get the sense that you guys would be able to work it out. If you guys were losing faith or wanting to just watch, if you, this would be more so for my Capricorns that are dealing with something probably in the now. Um, I don't really get the sense that it's something that is like foreshadowing. I feel like this has happened already. Um, so these three cards came out extra as well. Um, <laughs> so we have, as I was talking about before, honey, like, um, Y'all's reading is so unique and this continues on in such a fabulous aspect as well because the Eight of Cups is following you again, which I want to point out, like, I wanted to point out the sun in this one, but I was just like, eh. But this one, honey, the moon starts eclipsing the sun. <laughs> so truly, again, Capricorn, you have this moon character following you. Um, I just feel so strongly in that... Um, I mean, also the moon, uh, the eight of cups is like listening to your intuition and moving on as well. Um, especially with the moon card being relevant in here, it is like more of the push of intuition. Um, definitely this push of just wanting to move on from something, right? Wanting to clear your plate essentially because of this two of pentacles coming in as well, where you're dealing with some chaos, juggling with some things, you know, trying to like make decisions and, um, it's hard to like make those decisions or, Maybe because it's like so chaotic, you feel rushed into making certain decisions, Capricorn. And it's just, I feel like you just need to think it over, think it over a little bit more. With this Hermit card coming in, Capricorn, I just feel like, again, I'm not saying that, I mean, clearly there is this push, Capricorn, for you to move on, right? There is this transition, uh, desire from you to transition, to kind of release the juggling that you've been going on in your life, right? But there's just this constant theme of thinking things through, this constant theme of self-reflecting that I, I just can't ignore, Capricorn. So take that as you will, such a hefty <laughs> general message before you even get into the terror side of things. So um, now Capricorn, don't mind me, I'm like itching my foot as I like go off frame. <laughs> uh, Capricorn, we're now going to start getting into uh, your career and finances, see what's up with that. Um, and then from there, we'll just go, uh, into my Capricorn social, so, social, social situations. And then after the fact that we will go into, um, just general messages, Capricorn. So for my Capricorn's career and finances, I almost thought the moon was, came out again. I was going to like <laughs> squint so much. Um, we have the Ace of Wands coming out for you. So for movement, um, I really like this right off the bat. Um, Ace of Wands with the Hierophant, as well as the King of Cups. So big, you know, there is like this, again, of like the big decisions being made in, uh, in terms of you going forward in your life, right? Hierophant represents that big committed energy. Um, Ace of Wands is the representation of just like self-empowerment. I always see the Ace of Wands as just like grabbing up at your torch and just going forward with something. Um, and then the King of Cups is someone that is answering to themselves. King of Cups is someone that um, keeps a level head. You know, there is <laughs> a Capricorn, I swear, I don't think you're hot-headed or anything like that. I hope it's not coming off in that way. But I just like... Again, like your cards just seem so inescapable of like constantly pushing this thing of thinking, like so just thinking things through, right? I don't know what's going on, Capricorn, that like spirit really feels the need to have you um do this, but I'll just say that, right? So I'll pull some clarifiers, see what's going on. We have more cards following you around, two of pentacles again. 
Um, this is in regards to your higher friend. This is regard definitely you're weighing your dis uh, weighing things out between two big decisions. Uh, you don't really want to sign your name on something without reading the fine print. Is something that I'm hearing. Page of Swords comes in with the Ace of Wands. Definitely communication again. Um, I feel like before you go after, like go forward in terms of your career and your finances, whatever this Ace of Wands is, the representation of you taking, I just see it as taking action. Um, for taking action, Capricorn, Page of Swords, communication, talking about it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, it's so interesting how this just keeps co coming up for y'all. Um, very interesting, especially with that new moon, right? From in Gemini talking about communication is key. Um, King of Cups as well. The clarifiers, we had two clarifiers that came out for you, King of Cups. Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. And this makes sense though, because Eight of Wands is grabbing up at opportunity, grabbing up at things and releasing what doesn't. Seven of, Seven of Pentacles is that energy of invest, putting in the proper investments, thinking long term. Um, again, you, there's this theme, common theme of like, you know, we say long term, and I feel like it's kind of like in the same ballpark as like those, um, that decision that we keep on talking about, this, that serious committed um, energy, uh, you know, that, that contract, it's all talking about like long term longevity, right? Um, yeah, I just get this sense. Capricorn, I don't know what's going on, right? Before writing your name down on anything, before taking action on anything, talk about it. Talk about it with people, read the fine print, something that I'm just getting. Um, again, I'm not saying your choices are wrong, decisions, anything that you're thinking is wrong. I just like spirits really honing in on like uh, getting all the facts, right? Because with that moon card keep on, that keeps coming up, um, I'm pulling your cards for your social situation now. <laughs> That's why um, Capricorn. But with that moon card keep constantly being a presence, definitely lets me know, like, as a tarot reader, I'm seeing something that's, like, you're not expecting. I see something going on that you're not aware of. Um, so, social situations. Let's look at this. Devil card came out. Queen of Swords came out. As well as the Ten of Swords. Oh my goodness, honey. All the Earth signs right now are, like, addressing some devils in their life. <laughs> um... I, I'm laughing, but I don't, like, I do get this sense of where it's like, there is this sense, Capricorn, of where I feel like you, it feels like you can't feel like, it feels like you, how many times can I say it feels like, but what does it feel like, Velka? It feels like, Capricorn, um, you're... You're just checked out from people. It feels like you don't have patience for people right now. It feels like anyone that like even shows any type of red flag or even gets gives a hint of any type of red honey, you're just like, nope, cut them off. Um, so let's look at some clarifiers though before I get too deep into this message. So the devil cards with the two of cups, the hermit card following you two, queen of swords and then the nine of swords and the strength card okay yeah two of cups with this devil card you're really wanting to like it shows to me there's someone that you care about that you want to like pro that you like at this point feel checked out from you feel betrayed from probably perhaps you feel like you're they're just not on your side anymore um and you feel hurt you're wanting to close yourself off off why am I speaking so weird for you, Capricorn? You, you want to just close yourself off, hermit away, not deal with people. This is definitely like an energy of someone that was hurt and now is just like, screw everybody. Like, you don't want to deal with nobody. You think, like, you think everyone's bad. Like, obviously, you don't think everyone's bad, Capricorn, but you're in this place where it's just like, screw everybody. Like, everyone's trying to sabotage me in my current space right now. Everyone just can't leave me alone. So you're just done, right? So you have this Ten of Swords, uh, the Clarifiers coming in as the Nine of Swords and the Strength card. So this is definitely Capricorn, such a, such an energy of, um, you're tired of feeling anxious. You're tired of having to question or like feel like you have to question people's motives. Um, you're just ready to, I don't know. It, it makes me wonder. I, um, I can't get into it in this reading, obviously Capricorn, but does make me wonder what's going on with you that like puts you in this such a distrustful state um when it comes to people donna cups does uh come in for you so this definitely is like a 
foreshadowing of like new things coming through but it also talks about the deepening of current relationships as well um something i can just keep wanting to point out i feel like i just need to point it out capricorn just because i just i don't know it feels like you care a lot about some person but you just want to let them go because it's just like you feel hurt you feel misunderstood like whatever it is and i just can't keep help but keep thinking about like the um just this first pile right where it's talking about communication is key and to think about it a little bit more before taking action on something but again, how many times can I say this? I'm not saying your thought process is wrong, Capricorn. I just think thinking is what need, is what needs to be done. So general messages now. Uh, I'm not surprised by this at all. Uh, we have the King of Wands. We have the Tower card. And then we have the Five of Wands. Honey, this is where that gossip is. This is where, this is what was happening. This is what I've been tapping into that I literally, I guess, said I wasn't going to tap into a couple of minutes ago. But I was wondering what put you in this distrustful state. And I'm getting this is it. Um, King of Wands, this is you, Capricorn. This is you just wanting to honor your passions. This is you just trying to go forward in life. And then Tower Card happens with the in the shape of a Five of Wands. So this is literally like conflict this is something catching you off guard this is something that just like is revealed to you you feel betrayed you have a tower moment where it feels like your whole your stability your circle of people like you just feel like everything just feels like it's under attack right now and because it feels like it's you feel like everything's under attack right now capricorn you're in this place of defensiveness you're in this place of just wanting to cut off connections so you don't deal too much more of a tower moment right because here's the thing this tower moment with this five of wands this really took shook your core right and i feel like there's like if you were to deep dive with this a little bit um capricorn i would say this is probably like some type of trigger trauma response from you i mean that's a, not a psychologist honey obviously you just read some cards but it's like it seems like some like for you to be as impacted as you feel as i'm feeling like you feel i feel like this some something through the actions of this person triggered you this conflict really triggered something in you from your past or what have you it just really triggered something in you that really puts you in this fight or flight state um and it's just it's interesting to me um in the sense of just it makes sense more sense now as to why you're being asked to like think things through right you know again you're not thinking you're not doing the wrong thing but like let's make sure that you don't regret this decision once emotions are not as high once you are able to like keep a level head when you think about the situation right that's that's really what the push is um so final clarifiers for this capricorn four swords yeah again this card of meditate and contemplate honey um in the name of moving on i feel like this time is what's going to heal queen of fire coming in with the seven of cups so a decision does need to be made about this i feel like you kind of do need to make the decision that best honors you um best honors your passion best honors your energy um and i feel like you, that will come with time that will come with you thinking about this a little bit more there's definitely like big decisions needing needing to be made big things that change your life um but so this is why it's important for you to really think this through i feel like this is just a really touchy week in the sense that um I feel like it's always said by tarot readers, but I really do feel like whatever decision you make in regards to this, your life's not going to be the same after. Like, it really is going to change up the dynamic, I feel like, in some aspect of your life, if not a lot of different aspects of your life, just because it feels like everything's so connected. Um... But yeah, Capricorn, that's the reading that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And share this video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. Till next time though, Capricorn, I love you so much. 